What's up there workforce, Chris here with work to game and I'm saying these guides are no spoiler, but this is one of the last trial fights of the initial 5.0 content serving. So this is just a reminder that while I am not spoiling any of the lore or anything around this, that actually the character model and everything dealing in this fight may be a spoiler if you are trying to watch this in advance. So if you'd like to try it blind and then if you get stuck, feel free to come on back. So this is your warning before I show who the boss is. Let's dive in. All right, so we're here fighting Innocence, and uh, basically this fight has two phases to it, so we're gonna have to kind of transition through that. So Real Mazers is what he opened up with every time that I fought it. Uh, that's just gonna be kind of a group-wide. There wasn't really like a heavy, you know, a big tank buster here. Heavenly Host is gonna spawn these ads. As a tank, don't worry about trying to pick them up. They go down really fast. Uh, so they technically do have an aggro table, but they're, you can see by the time I get there, they're basically already dead. Now Daybreak, don't stand in bad. That's always the theme with bosses. Don't stand in bad. In Thrall here, there are some. Uh, there is the pink eye that you want to look away from, as well as some meteors that have to be soaked. So stand under the meteors, turn away from the eye. You should be good. Now at this point, he's going to spawn these again, and then he's going to start doing mechanics on top of each other. That is the theme in this fight. We're going to show you a mechanic, and then we're going to do it again. Now we transition to phase two. Uh, Righteous Bolt is going to actually um, be the one tank buster now that we're in the second phase, and then Winged Retribution is going to cause there to be like a whole bunch of AoE that goes out, and it's actually a series of this. So just get good at dodging. Don't worry about maintaining your rotation to this. Worry about not dying, um, because obviously you don't do any damage when you're dead. So just keep dodging this, and it does eventually end. It's three rounds the first time. I don't know if it's that way every time. Sometimes they do things like rotate, so you see one rotating here. Um, but just get used to the, the series of patterns. This is the third pattern, so he's got like an asterisk followed by uh, another asterisk. And then there's some bolts on the outside. Watch out for these. They are going to charge in the boss, so just pay attention to where they are. Uh, later I get clipped by one. It will kill you in one hit. Now we're going to move to these ads. You have to target the one that has the beam on it you have the immaculate authority counting up if that gets to a hundred you're obviously going to die uh, and so just keep targeting the beam ones and you should be fine it wasn't a horribly hard check just make sure that you're focusing the right target finish down the one in the middle obviously you can see we're way ahead of the time here this is most of the people in here said this was their first run uh, and then we do a couple more uh, AOE phases where you basically dodge these exploding kind of pie shapes and now it's time to get interesting. Now is when we're gonna start layering mechanics on top of each other, which makes this fight substantially more intense if the first phase and the beginning of this phase didn't do anything for you. Uh, line stack mechanic, as always, nothing too crazy there. Um, and now you can see as they begin to layer these, you can see now it's doing line AOEs and it's rotating. So just pay attention to the pattern the first time it comes out and then there's that righteous bolt that I didn't pay attention and me showing you it does indeed one shot you. Uh, so I accept a raise that time. Now another one you wanna watch out for is this uh, breath vision. And so that actually explodes out. Just be as far from it as possible. Healers prepare to pick everybody up. Continue repeating all these mechanics and you will eventually get phase two down and you will have cleared the fight. Now there is a lot of lore after this one. Um, this is you wrapping up your, your time through MSQ. So if this is your first clear, uh, if you think well, I'm just going to knock out this trial and then go to work or whatever. I would maybe wait until you get home from work so that you can actually sit down and really enjoy everything that finishing this dungeon has to offer. My name is Chris with work to game I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, what's up, workforce? Chuck here, telling you, you should totally like, favorite, subscribe, share, dance, raise your hands in the air. I'm off camera, I'm off frame, I'm new at this. I'm, hey, hey, listen, you, yes. You haven't hit that subscribe button, you totally should. I recommend it, Chuck approved. Anyway, also thanks to all the Patreons, you're in the corners, whoa!